Hello there, if you are having any problems with your own server, probably you should watch this video because it may have the solution for you. And some of the problems, you know, the problems are kind of different from each other, but sometimes they have the same solutions. Some of these issues are pretty common and many people face them after setting up their own server. Plus, there are at least three reasons for some of these issues to appear. The first reason is the most common reason ever, is just uh, human mistakes. A small mistake in the system and you just screw up everything. The second reason why this may happen is the fact that probably the game just updated, okay, so it just got patched and you cannot uh, be able to join your own server or another random public server as well anymore. The third reason why some of these issues happen it's a mystery, yeah, a mystery, because I don't know the reason why some of these issues appear when they should not, when everything is properly set up and we cannot figure out why those things happen. So uh, before going further on this, I want just to remind you of a really important thing. You see these three files here, how to exact, the how to save and the host file. Always make a backup of these files, just copy them and paste them somewhere else or even copy the codes that are inside of this notepad because you may need this in the future you may need to save uh, some info and uh, in general the saves of your server so you won't lose anything so i advise you to make a backup of these files and info so let's go straight ahead to the issues and the possible solutions One of the issues that I want to mention, and it's not really, really about specifically about your server, it's something that people are facing. And when they see this little thing here, quite tempting, huh? This application, it should be the game. The thing is, if you click on it, the application that is inside of the server folder, this will happen, okay? So you will face this black screen all the time and you cannot play so never launch the game through this hurt world application here okay through this icon here always launch it through your uh, steam or even through a uh, shortcut you may have on the desktop or something like that never through here the second and the most common issue that sometimes people face and I usually face as well lately, mostly lately, I think it's because of the updates, I'm not sure about it, is the host file. It just doesn't stay open for a long time. So if you run it as an admin, this may happen. So it automatically closed after a really few seconds after I launch it. So let's try to launch it just normally. And sometimes this is a solution for it to not close, but lately it hasn't been working as a solution because it happened again. So this thing will keep closing. I advise you to do one thing. First of all, launch the game. Let I prefer to launch the game first so I will have everything ready then to launch the server okay so it's not a big deal if you launch the the server after you have the game open okay all right so there you go the game just press F1 to go to the console and type this but do not press enter yet because you don't have your uh, server launched yet so let's try to launch it now normally open it normally and quickly enter and let's see if i can still connect to the server and i'm not sure at this point if the window closes but if it closes, you probably should still be able to join the server all right and why because probably the process is still running on the background yeah, so I was able to get in. Let's see if uh, the server window is still up. No, it just closes. It just closed, so I don't have the, the window anymore open. The thing is, you are still able to join the server, which is pretty cool, isn't it? Yes. But open the host file right after you just type the connect thing there as I did, just to prevent uh, stop being able to join the server, right? Meanwhile, the process is still active. I don't know why, but 
This happens, it's a fact. Other issue and really common that many people are having your server is running perfectly and you just got into the server but you are not able to do admin stuff to spawn in things to do other comments here so i advise you to do something you need to test if you are really admin on your server by you know trying different comments but probably the most basic comments probably just one so usually when i set up uh once again because sometimes i'll just remove my or or just update my my server so what i do is to come here and test if i'm set up properly as an admin and i usually use this code but you can use any other code that you can see the changes right after typing the code and press enter aircon and i'm gonna set the time to to really dark night and it worked if if it didn't work i wasn't set up properly as an admin but that's not happening right now and the solution for this is very important for people who are not able to spawn in items. Many people uh, talk to me complaining that uh, they are not able to spawn items in. So I'm gonna, for example, spawn another, try to spawn another workbench and it worked because I'm an admin. Otherwise it won't work. So let's get out of this game right now and see why this happens. Go to the host file. This is by human mistake usually. If anything here is slightly changed, like for example, this, it's replaced by one of these, it's too small, but you can still notice if you pay really big attention or something is missing. If something is missing here or uh, this here, it's enough. It's enough for the code to not work and it won't be adding you as an admin to your server. You need to double check the the codes to see if everything is alright. If everything is alright, something is weird, but there's a solution for this. Also, for this, for the window keeps closing and for that issue that I just talked about. Come back here to the local disk or whatever, you have the sim cmd, go ahead, open it and Redownload everything again, or you can either update your server files again. So make that backup I told you before. Try to update your server through SteamCMD again, or literally uh, delete everything you have here. Okay, delete the folder and redownload everything and reinstall everything again from SteamCMD. Because sometimes it's sadly it's the, the only solution I found. For this, I don't know if there are more solutions for this, but this is usually the one that works, alright? After the game gets a new update, after the game gets patched recently, if uh, just a, a patch came out recently and you haven't done really big deal on your server, but you are now going to try to get into your server and it won't work it will be possible that you have not updated the server after the update came out. So you need to update your server every time uh, the game updates itself, all right? So after a new patch comes out, you need to update your server as well. Sometimes may happen after new update comes out and you try to join, for example, a public server, uh, your favorite server, and it doesn't let you and it says, that this server is running an older version, yes, because this server is your server probably is still running the older version of the game and it needs to be updated. That's one of the reasons why sometimes you cannot uh, join after an update to a server, alright? Another problem with the server is not being able to load mods, Steam Workshop mods that you just subscribed to here okay and after you put them properly here like load mod some something here something here okay and the number the code number for the sim workshop item and then you save it what will happen if the mods are not loading in your server there's a reason why and thanks to a person 
uh, to a friend that explained me why this happens because I had the auto exec file as the default name okay so default usually the, the server files are downloaded like this and the auto exec default is the way it's called by default yeah exactly so you need just to change it and remove the default all right it's like this so probably the, the mods will work properly now this person wants his friend to connect to his server to play with him and I left here this answer so just pause the video and just be careful reading everything and doing this thing step by step if we follow this step by step hopefully it will work all right if it doesn't work I'm sorry about this but as a, it's something that I didn't actually test so, uh, but hopefully it is, otherwise just do some further research about this. I've been replying to many people since a month ago, alright? I have time for that, but it's a lot of people with similar, you know, similar issues, so I keep replying to them. Well, anyway, thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video.